It's wrong. While I'm still alive and can speak, I must give her an innocence. In my opinion, I don't think that's necessary. Why don't you give me this button? Let's just pretend it never happened. Somebody help! Murder! Somebody help! Uncle Chow! Uncle Chow! Uncle Chow! Somebody help! Murder! Somebody help! Uncle Chow! Uncle Chow! Uncle Chow! What happened? What happened? Sinyo, I really didn't expect that you left yourself a back door. Sillinger, you took the button. And you killed Uncle Chow. You're crazy. Sure, it's me. I cannot let him go back alive to tell Lord Lee. Is Mrs. Lee's identity so important to you? You don't even have a conscience. Is Mrs. Lee's identity so important to you? You don't even have a conscience. I have promised a divorce. What else are you dissatisfied with? Why kill an innocent man? I must clear the obstacles one by one to hold on in Mrs. Lee's position. Sillinger, how cruel is your heart? That's a human life. Uncle Chow was meant to grow up. He won't let you go. That's not necessarily true. Nanjong. Nanjong, help me. This woman, she's crazy. What's going on? I just heard an argument in the elevator. I ran over to see it. I found out that Uncle Chow lying on the ground. Nanjong. Uncle Chow did see me today. But I didn't kill him. She wants to rub the button in Uncle Chow's hand. Uncle Chow didn't give it to her. Therefore, she killed Uncle Chow. And then I found out. She even tried to kill me. She is really terrible. I didn't. Grandpa, please believe me. I really didn't. Don't call me Grandpa. I can't stand it. My family treats you well. If you are dissatisfied with the Lee family, you take it up with me. Why kill the butler? Take it easy. Take it easy, Grandpa. No. Grandpa and Butler have been kind to you since childhood. How can you return favor with hatred? Send you on. I didn't. I really didn't do it. Okay. What about the button in the butler's hand? Nanjo, I've seen this button before. It's angels. It's just disappeared later. It turned out Sinyuan had stolen it. Sinyuan, Angel was so kind to you before her death. How did you have the heart to hurt her? I can't believe you found punks to insult her. Where is your conscience? Mr. Lee, according to our investigation, this old gentleman passed away due to a fatal injury to his head caused by a sharp tool. According to the monitoring records, Miss Sinyuan was the first person to appear at the crime scene. Miss Sinyuan, please come with us to the police station. Sinyuan. What else do you want to explain? I didn't get the point That's enough, Sinyuan. The situation now is no need to explain it all. Divorce! Right now! Immediately! My Lee family doesn't have a granddaughter-in-law like you. Now the witness and physical evidence are all there. I see how you can explain it. Miss Sinyuan, Mr. Lee Nanchung accused you of intentionally murdering the bottle of Lee family. Please come with us. Still don't admit it? I told you. I didn't kill anyone. It's no use insisting that you don't tell the truth, you know. It is true that the deceased was killed by a sharp tool, and Miss Sin Ling Er witnessed your murder. Throughout the process, the witness and evidence are there. It is useless for you to resist anymore. Do you still refuse to plead guilty? I didn't kill him. Why should I admit it? <sighs> Sinyuan, I'm telling you, no matter what you say, Nanjong won't believe it. In his mind, you have already been sentenced to death. Don't be whimsical. Hurry up and plead guilty. 
I told you. I will recognize things I haven't done. I'm telling you now. Nanjang and I are engaged. As long as you don't recognize it for a day, I will have a way to deal with your precious little brother and your loser mom. I cannot control whether they live or die at that time. You talk nonsense, you talk nonsense. Then Nanjang promised me he wouldn't touch my family. I promised, but so what? I can back out. Senor, I advise you'd better get off, or you'll be in your own peril. Help me, kill me. Man Chang, let you sign it up. I won't sign it. You tell Lin Nan Chang to talk our divorce with me in person. In that, you want him to insult you. I will tell him and let you hear how disgusted he feels. He wants you to be sentenced to death. And tell you another news. We will get married next month. Isn't it good? Next month? Lin Nan Chang, are you in such a hurry to marry Sin Ling or... Why sitting in a daze? Hurry up, sign your name. Don't you care your brother's safety? Okay, I'll sign it. I'll sign it. How is it going on? She has pleaded guilty. Send you on. You can come. Hey, Mr. Tang. How deep is your love? So is it now you're still here? Right. Just love Sin Yuan so much. And can't set aside her. Don't think everyone's like you pick her up and toss her off and betray her. Sin Yuan and you are impossible. She has pleaded guilty. Li Nan Chang. Don't think you can be really an outlaw in Hang City. There is something you can't put in. Mr. Tang, if you don't care the result, you can try. Sin Yuan, how can you be so silly? You didn't do it. Why do you admit it? I have asked someone to investigate what happened in the hospital. Don't worry, it will be clear soon. Wang Zhuye. It isn't necessary to do that now. Someone like me do not deserve you to do a lot. No, Sinyuan, you can't plead guilty. I will look for the best lawyer all over the world to help you. If now, don't come up to me again. She is the girl that Mr. Lee let us take care of. Don't look down upon her, it said, when she worked as a poor girl in a night banquet club. Mr. Tuck fell for her a lot. Really? Then we should take good care of her tonight. Really? Then we should take good care of her tonight. <laughs> really, a pampered rich girl. Have a good look. What do you want? <laughs> what? Mr. Lee, let us take good care of you. <laughs> Have such a good look. Isn't it a pity not to wipe my shoes? Why doesn't she move? Does she die? She... Why doesn't she move? Send her to the hospital quickly! Does she die? She... Why doesn't she move? Oh no! Send her to the hospital quickly! What a mess! You're still alive! Selinga, what are you doing? Of course give you away! Uh, uh. 
look at your homeless look now. So poor, <laughs> really pretty. I tell you, if I die, I'll haunt you and take it to hell with me. <coughs> the hell? You go by yourself. Lady, what are you doing? I'll call the security. You should go by yourself. Lady, what are you doing? I will call the security. 800,000 yuan. Security or shut up. Doctor, she's alive and well. Since that, you can discharge her. You are right. I'll make the call. Sin Yuan, you are still alive? Well, bitches are lucky. Are we being too nice to you? You're finished. Ah! Not afraid to die? Then come here. I'll teach you all a good lesson. Ah! Not afraid to die? Then come here. I'll teach you all a good lesson. Yelling? Huh? Ladies, follow me. Start over in the future, and no more crime. Sister Chen, I am back. Sin Yuan? Sister Chen, I am back. Sin Yuan? It's good to see you. For your safety, we should keep a low profile. Stay here. A dishwasher. Thanks for letting me stay here. Speaking of which, that time, Li Nanjiang and Xin Ling Er are not married. Their engagement dinner was a mess. Was it karma? At that day, some thugs are suddenly rushing and said that Xin Ling Er hired them to rape Angel. Everyone was stunned. That day was a nightmare. Right. You're not surprised? <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's none of my business. Well, you are right. Since you decided to start over, that'd be great. Just stay here and don't worry. Thank you, Sister Chen. Right, I still owe you 30,000 yuan. Just cut from my pay. I am the owner of the Night Banquet Club. 30,000 yuan, a piece of cake. Well, there are new clues of the butler of Lee family, Xin Yuan. Did someone help you secretly? Otherwise, no one would hold it. For five years, a new surveillance video of the hospital, all the steps of the murder, was filed in the court now. A surveillance video? It should be filed in. Five years ago, he who has a mind to beat his dog will easily find his stake. Xin Ling Ar insisted that I was the murderer that day. Lin An Chang will do anything for her. A surveillance video? Just a piece of cake. You're wrong this time. Not Lin An Chang. Guess. Just forget it, Sister Chen. I really decided to say goodbye to my history. Well, Angel's death is all clear now. So, you are innocent. Xin Yuan, I should leave now. Anytime, if you need my help. So. What happened about the issue? According to another surveillance video, when the butler was murdered, Sin Yuan had stayed in the room. It was Sin Ling Er who took the butler back to the room. There were three minutes. The butler was killed at that period. No, not me, not me. Go to do an investigation when Sin Yuan will be released. Yes, sir. Come in. Good evening, sir. These are what you ordered. Let me open them now, or... Sin Yuan, you are released? Sorry, I'll send others to open them. After being with Mr. Tong, you still need to sell your body? 
You can't afford your daily expenses? It's none of your business. Sister Chen is understaffed. I come to help. I should leave. <laughs> when did you get out of jail? Two days ago. Can't wait to meet Tang Qiuye. Why do you care? Why had you confessed the crime? Mr. Lee, had I had another choice? To file an appeal? How could I win? You are Li Nanchang. I choose the jail. At least I can start over now. <laughs> Do you hate me? Mr. Lee, I have made a decision. All about Li family, it's none of my business. So, please control yourself. Do you hate me? Mr. Lee, I have made a decision all about the family. It's none of my business, so please control yourself. <laughs> Start over. You mean being with Tang Chuye, Xin Yuan? Have you slept with him before we divorced? Can't wait to meet him after you get out of jail, huh? Whatever. You're mad at me as I married you. Then you cannot be with Angel, right? But you have tortured me for many years, isn't it enough? No, absolutely not enough. You are still alive. Sinuan, just do as you are told. Do you remember your brother? I warn you, stay away from my brother. Take it up with me. Well, well, look what your brother is. He's a loser. Period. What do you mean? What do I mean? I won't waste my time. You'll see later. Now fuck off. You suck. You suck. Senor, are you okay? You look pale. I am fine. Chuye, I wanted to ask you something. What? I want to meet my brother. I saw him. You sure you want to meet him? Mr. Sin, you should buy me a drink. I remembered. Drink, drink, it's on me. All the bill. Drink. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Look what your brother is. He's a loser. Period. I warn you, stay away from my brother. Take it up with me. How could that be? This is your brother that you sold blood and work at the nightclub to pay college fees for. Sin Yuan, after you went in prison, Sin Hui was forced out of college, not because of the fees, but of buying sex in the hotel. Enough! Stop talking! All about your brother. Just let it go. Chu Ye, thank you. I knew it. It's you, Tang Chu Ye. Are you sticking plaster? Why are you so clingy to my wife? Lin An Zheng, what do you want? I said, are you sticking plaster? You like to stick to other people's wives so much. Lin An Chen, what the hell are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? Get off me! Let go of me! Lin An Chen, you! Sinua, I tell you, I won't let you have your way. Tomorrow morning, come to Likru. Otherwise, I'll find a way to make it impossible for you to stay here. Sinua, are you okay? I'm fine. Linan Chang. Mr. Lee, Miss Sinua is here. Get out. Lilan Zheng, what do you want me for? Mr. Lee, Miss Sin Yuan is here. Get out. Mr. Lee, what do you want? Sin Yuan, although you didn't kill the butler, 
Angel's death was still on you. You can't just get away with it. You want me to go back to jail? Or let me go back to the night banquet club as the bar girl? I want you to live like a dog, under my nose. Report to Lee Crib tomorrow. We'll take our time. I am not your servant. I tell you, even if I had to spend my life washing dishes at the night banquet club, I wouldn't come to Lee Group. Is it? I think you just can't let go of Tang Chuye. Whatever you think. Ten still, Sinua. The same thing. I don't want to say again. Report to Lee Group tomorrow. Don't forget. I still have seen who is alive in my hands. Shame on you, Linancha. Shame on you, Linancha. Sinuan, you are good. How dare you talk to me like that now? Does Tang Chuye give you courage? Linancha, I told you it's nobody's business. Do you think everyone is like a dog around you? Yes. I was before, but since the moment you put me in jail with your own hands, the previous Sin Yuan was already dead and completely dead. Let go of me! Let go Mr. of me! Mr. Lee, Miss Ling Er is here. <sighs> Get the fuck out of Mr. here! Mr. Lee, why don't you let go of me quickly? If your mistress sees you, how would you explain it? Get off me! <laughs> Sin Yuan, why are you here? Ask the man next to you. Sin Yuan, are you showing off? Do you think Nanchang will take a fancy to you? Sinning up. I don't like Li Nanchang. But you should take care of him. Don't let him always show up in front of me. You... <laughs> Hello? Sin Yuan, help your brother. He has been set up. He's inside right now. They said he didn't pay at the nightclub. Do something to save him. You cannot watch your brother go to jail like you. Mom, Owen is hardly able to save myself. You want me to go to the police station to get him? Do you think it's possible? Before you went to the prison, didn't you hook up with Tang Chu Ye? If you sleep with him more often, he will definitely help. I have nothing to do with Tang Chu Ye. How can you insult your own daughter like that? Sin Yun, don't lie to me. That man surnamed Tang. Before you went to jail, he was courting you. As long as you get off your high horse. Enough. Sin Yun has become like this. As a mother, don't you have any responsibility? Sin Yun, something happened to Sin Hui? Rinan Chang? How do you like the gift I gave you? You sent Sin Hui in! Lin An Chang, you're despicable! Sin Yuan, tomorrow morning, if I don't see you at the office, I'll personally give you a great gift. Lin An Chang, don't go too far! There's something even more outrageous. Do you want to try? You want to be with Tang Chuye? I tell you, it's impossible. People like you don't deserve happiness. You! Lin An Chang, I'm afraid your idea is going to come to naught. At most, by the end of the year, we'll definitely get married to Sin Yuan. Thank you for saving my ass. Sin Yuan, I was serious just now. By the end of the year, I'll marry you. Are you a man all like this? If you say you want to marry me, I have to marry you? Sin Yuan, at least I helped you today. Is that your attitude? What kind of attitude do you think I should have for someone who hit key evidence and put me in jail indirectly? What kind of attitude should I have? You knew it. Thanks to Mr. Cho, if he hadn't blabbed, how would I know the person who hit the hospital surveillance video is you? Yes, I was at the hospital that day. I watched the housekeeper get killed, and I was the one who took the surveillance video. Since you know the truth, why did you tell me? Why did you stand by and watch and see me sentenced to jail? Sin Yuan, I had my reasons. To reverse your conviction, in half a month at the most, I'll be able to clear your name. Thanks, but I don't need it. Sin Yuan. Sin Yuan. Okay, I got it. Mr. Lee, the court just called. 
The video footage is all true. The verdict will be announced in half a month. Miss Sin is not guilty. Mr. Lee, do you think we should take Miss Sin back to the Lee family? You are teaching me how to do things? Get out! Sinuan, you still won't admit you're guilty. Nan Zhang, I was framed. I didn't kill Uncle Chao. You're still denying it? Mr. Lee, what's wrong? Who made you angry? Why are you so angry? Why don't have a drink with me? Or I'll do whatever you want. Get out! You can call the doctor afterward. Grandpa? Eh, ah, Sin Yuan, I know what Nanjing did to you. It's our family's fault. I'm sorry for what I've done to you. But don't be afraid. Grandpa is here. Nanjing won't dare to bully you anymore. Sin Yuan, as long as Grandpa is here, you'll be the daughter-in-law of our family. Sin Yuan, come home and live with us. Don't stay at a place like the Night Banquet Club. Grandpa, it's between me and Lee Nanjing. Sin Yuan, come with me. Why did you come to my house all of a sudden? You want to put a grandpa in the hospital? Lin Nanjiang, grandpa asked me to come here. Don't worry, I won't get in your way. I don't want to stay in this house any longer. I'm leaving right now. <gasps> what do you think my home is? You can come and go as you wish to? What do you want then? Xin Yuan, Nanjiang didn't bully you, did he? Xin Yuan, Nanjiang didn't bully you, did he? Not really, we are just talking. Xin Yuan, why are you here? She's my guest. I want her to stay for dinner with me. Can't I? Stupid old thing, now that you like to protect her, I'll see how long you can protect her. Grandpa, I'd better go. Since I visited you today. Xin Yuan, don't hang around with Tang Chiuye. He gets close to you on purpose. Lin Nanjiang, I stay out of your things with Xin Ling'er. And may you stay out of mine. I've got work in office. You stay here with my grandpa. I'm out of here. Eh, hey, Nanjiang, I've did it with my besties for tea. Alright. Come back early. Don't mess with my grandpa. Hey! It's me. I have something here. Could you please help me again? Make that little bitch hit the headlines again. After completing the task, I'll give you 200,000 yuan. Don't worry about this. I will definitely handle this matter well. Xin Yuan, you just wait to become famous. And the old man, when he sees this news, will he be angry to death? If he gets angry to death, it saves a lot of trouble. Uh, uh, uh. Sir, what's wrong with you? Medicine. He has a recurrence of high blood pressure this time. Fortunately, it didn't cause a brain infarction. Don't make him angry anymore. Okay, I got it. Thank you, doctor. Grandpa, I'll find two nurses to take care of you tomorrow. No, send you on. Could you come to the hospital tomorrow to take care of me? I... Send you on. Grandpa's illness this time was caused by you. You must stay and take care of Grandpa. Is there something wrong with you, Lin Anjiang? If it weren't for your gossip reports, how could Grandpa be so angry? What are you performing here now? Don't you dare say it again. Lin Anjiang, in order to force me into the Lee group, you didn't even care about Grandpa's health. You're such a filial grandson. Okay, okay, let's just say less. Mr. Lee, our support in got new leads on Miss Angel's incident at the night banquet club. <laughs> Mr. Lee, the punk we took earlier confessed, saying that it wasn't Miss Sin Yuan who gave them the money to insult Miss Angel. Instead, it was Miss Ling Er. But I haven't investigated thoroughly yet. Did someone give them the money so that they changed their confession? Sin Linger. Yes. And Mr. Lee, this is a video taken from the court. Okay. 
follow up this lead. It can't be that simple, since they withdraw their confession. Okay. Nanjiang, how's Grandpa doing? Is he okay? Xin Yuan, why is she here? Did you bring her here? You promised me to break with her completely. Can you say a few words less? Nanjiang, don't you know she killed the elder sister? If it weren't for her insistence on marrying you, sister wouldn't have gone to the night banquet. Enough! Nanjiang, it's her fault. You left her here. What if she kills Grandpa? She is a malicious woman. If you left her here, she will bring misfortune. There is something. You want me to say it clearly. What do you mean by that? Chilling Er, the death of the puddler and angel. Does it really have nothing to do with you? Nanjiang, what do you mean? Not to mention the butler. Angel is my sister. How could I possibly harm her? It must be Xin Yuan. She's talking nonsense and wronging me. She didn't say anything. Then it must be Tang Tiu Ye. He always liked Xin Yuan. He must have helped Xin Yuan frame me. Okay, that's it. You go back to live in the apartment for a while. I'll bring you back when Grandpa gets better. Apartment? Where should I go to the apartment? I won't go there. Go. Go! just want to live now? Mr. Lee, how are you going to torture me this time? Mr. Lee, how are you going to torture me this time? Report to the Lee group tomorrow morning. This is the deadline I gave you. If you run out of my patience, neither you nor Sinhui will be okay. Okay, I'll go to the company with you tomorrow, but I hope you can hold your promise. Let go of Sinhui! Mr. Lake, our supporters caught a poor girl at the night banquet club. She knows the punk who withdrew his confession. Really? Yes. Let's go. Come with me. Mr. Lee, this is the poor girl who used to work at the night banquet club. She was also present on the day of the crime. Say something. What did you see back then? You'd better be honest. Mr. Lee, I recognize the person who hurt Miss Angel back then. Huh. That person was Mr. Chi and Tang Chiyue's minion back then. He always came to the night banquet club to mooch off and made a pass at those girls. On the day of Miss Angel's accident, I'm packing the empty bottles in the private room. It is him who carried Miss Angel into the private room. Mr. Chi, Tang Chiyue, and that punk. It turns out that they are in collusion. Be careful, Mr. Lee. So, what happened to him? Why did Nanjing drink so much? Mr. Lee is upset about Miss Angel's matter, so he just had a few more drinks. Angel, Angel, it's Angel again. He can go back first. Okay. <sighs> Xin Yuan, you just wait to receive the gift I sent you. The way you try to assert dominance in your relationship, that's really funny. Is this a new girl? Ah, uh, you definitely didn't know. I heard that this lady was a bar girl at the night banquet club before. The kind that specifically sits on a man's lap and pours wine. Really? Then help me pour a glass of water. Quickly. You're not used to standing and pouring water, are you? If you're not used to standing, how about I lend you my thigh? Please show your respect. The woman who came out of the night banquet club don't know how many men you've slept What are you pretending to be serious for? Yeah, sitting down won't kill you. What are you doing? 
Mr. Lake. Hey, Nanchong. Come here. Sinuon, you're really stubborn. On your first day here, you hooked up with a man. It's not what you think. Then what is that? Whatever you think of me. Anyway, you asked me to go to the lead group. I did. Please fulfill your promise. Quickly, find someone to release Sin Hui. Okay. But I have a condition. From now on, you have to be my personal assistant. You must be on call 24 hours a day. You have to be my personal assistant. You must be on call 24 hours a day. What? Why? The contract stipulates that I only work 8 hours a day. The time at night belongs to me personally. I have something else to do. Sorry, I won't be able to keep you company. Stop! Why is it him again? Mr. Lee! Do you know this girl? It's not just about knowing her. Mr. Kuo, don't you know yet? She used to be the top showgirl at the night banquet club called Rose. Good! Come and have a drink with me! <laughs> Mr. Kuo, I'm not feeling well today. Unwell! Must be an excuse! Rose, you wouldn't want to disrespect Mr. Kuo, would you? Rose, have another drink. Sinyuan, this is your thing. Came to the night banquet club. Are you so fond of being a whore? This is my freedom. None of your business. <laughs> when can the bar girl talk about freedom? Go! Hey, Nancho, let go of me! <laughs> you are so fond of being a whore. Then you can sell yourself to me. Hey, Nancho, let go of me! Don't move. It's so hard. Let go of me! Ah. <laughs> hey, Nancho, let go of me! Don't you like to be a whore? Since tonight, I can help you. Nancho, please be sober. Mr. Go drop the wine. <laughs> Nancho, please be sober. Mr. Go drop the wine. Why is it okay to accompany Mr. Go but not me? Because in your eyes, I'm just an ex-wife that disgusts you. And a prostitute who comes and goes at your beck and call. Doesn't it? Send you one. You still... Love me, right? Oh, let go of me! Love you? How could that be possible? How could I love you? You gave me all the scars on my body! Lin Anjum, how long are you going to torture me? From now on, I will no longer be an employee of your Lee group. You want to resign? I don't agree. What? Do you want to use old tricks to restrict my freedom again? So you can lock me in again? Anyway, I've been there for five years. Staying a few more years will be the same. Sinuan didn't ask someone to write those gossip news. I wronged you for the butler's death. I will make it up to you. I don't need it. Sinuan! You're still angry? I apologize on the newspaper, okay? No, I don't need it. Mr. Tang, the past I will not like to mention it anymore. Let's write it off. Now I only hope to have a peaceful life. No problem. We have written it off. So let's recognize each other again. <clears throat> <clears throat> My name is Tang Juye. Hello. I like you. I want to pursue you. Don't be silly. I'm not silly. I'm serious. Sinuan, please, give me an opportunity. I'm sorry. I've not prepared yet. I can wait for you. <coughs> Sinuan, I'm surprised. Your flatterer is so loyal. He's even come here. Linan Chang. Shut up if you talk rubbish. Mr. Tang, let's go. Stop. Tang Chuye. If I found out that the death of Angel is related to your followers, I will never let you off. Let's go. Wow, 
now, a small Lee Group's intern surprisingly hook up Mr. Tang and dare to work at Lee Group. Oh, I forgot, you're the top showgirl of the Night Banquet Club. Just open your legs, men will throw money at you. Sending are you are Lee Nanchang's fiancé. How nasty your words are. Aren't you afraid to make Mr. Lee shameful? What am I ashamed of? You're the one who should be embarrassed. Mr. Tang, your taste is really not good. Tang Chu Ye, how dare you hit me? What's wrong? What a shit your words are. Believe it or not, you'll regret. I regret I didn't slap you more. Or I didn't post your swearing video online. You really have to be against the Lee group for this bit. <laughs> I noticed that you're really shameless. You're a mistress. How dare you notice Lee group? Are you qualified? Tell me again. Believe it or not, we'll post that video online. It's gonna make you really hot. You guys, wait for me. Sin Yuan, I forgot to tell you. There's something on your face. What? Beauty. What are you doing? Mr. Lee, what are we doing? Can't you see? Sin Yuan, you're a real bitch. Can't wait to find another man. Hey Nanjiang, you're too mother-like. Is there anything to do with you? Stop! Li Nan Chang, Miss Sin is not your pet, and certainly not the mistress next to you. She do not need to listen to you. You! Let's go! You're a good guy! Pretty girl! Come and have a drink! What are you doing? Why don't you find out later? I warned you not to touch me. I work for Tang Chiu Ye. So what? Tang Chiu Ye likes you so much but didn't marry you. He's just playing with you. Exactly. I advise you to treat us nicely. Otherwise, don't blame us. Do not know how to cherish the beauty. I warned you not to touch me. Otherwise, you'll regret. You get help? No way. I will surely sleep with you today. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go, let me go! Don't be ungrateful. I've played women until death in this place. I advise you not to accept the punishment. Sinuan, is that you? Sinuan, where are you, Sinuan? Help! Help! Sinuan! Sinuan! uh, why won't you let me go? Because I hate you. I hate you. I wish you were dead right now. Sinling or I should let Lin Nanchen see what you look like now. If he saw your face like this, would he still dare to marry you? Sin Yuan, don't try to stall me here. Do you think that by stalling me, someone will show up and rescue you? I've checked it out clearly. Tang Chiu Ye is on business trip today. And Nan Chong, because of my hand injury, is very worried. He's looking for medicine to stop the bleeding. Let's see, who else will come to save you? You. Sin Yuan, that's what you get for offending me. Enjoy it. Let go of me! Let go of me! Help! Help! Let go of me! Help! Help me, Chu Ye! How dare you pull in my women! You are asking for death! <laughs> Mr. Chu Ye, I know I was wrong! Do you admit you were wrong? Chu Ye, stop it! Do you want us to forgive you? Sure. But you need to honestly answer everything question we ask. You said a few years ago, you have a person killed in the night banquet club. Who was it? You said, you have a person killed in the night banquet club. Who was it? What? Say it! A couple of years ago, right here, I and some of my bros raped a girl. I think her name was Shin something. Unfortunately, she couldn't do it before we finished. She was already dead. What? The young lady who died at the club? It's Angel. Sinuan. Jiu Ye. I. Get out. Okay. 
I'm, I'm leaving. Sinuan. Tang Jiu Ye, back then, you knew about it, didn't you? About what happened at the club. Yes. I went and helped Yan Shen deal with the mess. So, Mr. Tang, then you must know who sent people to rape my sister. Is that right? I beg you, just tell me the truth. You don't have to know. I have to. She is my sister. I have to know who exactly got my sister killed. I want to justify my name. For who? Lin An Cheng? Even if you do, will he believe you? Xin Yuan, do you know why I liked you? Yes, I do. You don't have to remind me of that. I just look like an old acquaintance of yours. Sinuan, do you know why I liked you? Because you're pure, with three girls in your family, aside from you. I mean your two sisters. They have been hitting on men everywhere, and ended up getting themselves into trouble. But you are different. You are not like either one of them. Tang Juye! You know everything, but you won't tell me the truth. You said you like me, but you just watch me go to jail. You said you appreciate my purity. I've been married. I've had a miscarriage. I've been a poor girl, and I've been in jail. If I'm considered pure, then what's impure? I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Sinuan, you called me just to let me see your love story? Lin An Chang, are you questioning Sinuan? Shut up! Tang Juye, I'm telling you, I don't need to tell you what I'm going to do. Lin An Chang, haven't I made myself clear enough? How long are you going to pester me? Besides, aren't you busy buying medicine for Sin Ling Er? Why are you here? Sinuan. It seems you haven't been taught enough lessons, have you? Let go of me! What are you doing, Li Tan Chang? Let go of me! Do you think I'm one of Tang Chiu's minions? You come and go as you please, and now you think you can tell me to leave? I told you! The call I made earlier was a mistake! Say another word and see what happens. Li Tan Chang, why bring me back here? I don't want you to work in that banquet club. I don't want to see you tangling with Tang Chiuye anymore. You're the one who's tangling with me. Lin An Cheng, what on earth do you want? Nothing. I just don't want you to work at the club. Mr. Lee, you are the one who sent me there in the first place. So now, whether I do this or not, it's none of your business. <gasps> Sin Yuan, you remind me. You're just a hooker. Top girl at night banquet club, huh? How much do you want? Give me a number. I don't want your dirty money. Tell you what, if you're horny, go find Sinling or go away. Stop, you asshole. Uh. Shameless. Shameless. All right. If you want Grandpa to fall ill again, go ahead and make a fuss. Come back home with me. Ah, oh, Sin Yuan is back! Grandpa. Nan Chang, why didn't you tell me that Sin Yuan is back? Come on, hurry up and get the room ready, so Sin Yuan can stay here. Got it, I'll go clean up right away. <gasps> Lin Nan Chang, what's gotten into you? If you make another move, I'll finish what I didn't do earlier. You're being an asshole. What exactly do you want? Sin Yuan, I just don't want to see you happy. Don't forget, you are the one who killed Angel. Until you've paid for your sins, you're not going anywhere. Lin An Chang, since the day I married you, have I ever had a good day? Is this marriage worth continuing? Sin Yuan, now that Grandpa thought we've already get back together, you should move back. If something happens to Grandpa, 
You'll always be the sinner of our family. I'm telling you, I'll cooperate with you and act in front of Grandpa, sure. But moving back to the Lee house, that's impossible. Once you're in my place, your words don't count. We just finished. Yes, and now you're calling Lin An Chang? Am I not enough for you? Don't worry, he won't find out. You are that confident? Of course. That be Xing Yuan has been clinging to Nan Chang. He's too busy to bother with me. But, just to be safe, I need to get her pregnant quickly. And kick her out. For good. Aren't you afraid Lin An Chang will find out? Afraid of what? As long as he thinks the child is his, it's fine. As for you, why are you still here? What if Nanchen catches us? We'll both be dead. I don't care. It's romantic to die with a beauty. Oh, by the way, after the job is done, don't forget my two million. Don't worry. I'll pay you. <laughs>